Oh god. We're gonna pull it on we're gonna pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, this is not good. Nicely done, everyone. Now, just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it in your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm, so the paper doll scrap has some sort of meaning to it, then. Yep, as long as we have a little piece of Sachiko with us. We'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. No, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool? I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shinozaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Hi! Yes, ma'am. <gasps> An earthquake? <laughs> what the hell? This is like, holy crap, big. Brother, Yuga, come on, you gotta take my hand. Everybody, stay calm, get under your desk until it passes. <laughs> under the desks now. Chapter <laughs> said, Hurry. Not the no, this can't be happening. Is this for real? Holy crap. Oh god, I'm falling. Big brother! Dude, I totally forgot this was a horror game at one point. That opening. Jesus. So I guess it's just a sprain. Where is this? I'm not at home, am I? Can't be. <coughs> okay. So dark, I can barely see a thing. Is this a skull? Whoa. What's going on? What the hell is this place? Okay, so we are in control of Naomi. I do not want to drop into that hole. There's a loose board lying on the ground. Though scratched and banged up, it still seems to be fully intact and not much worse for the wear. Okay. 
Uh, where do I go? At the door? Okay. It's dark, but I think you can feel my way through the hall to get around all these holes in the floor. Okay, so. Hmm. Guess we go. This way? Over here? Perhaps? No? No? Hmm. Weave my way. Okay. I see. I see. Uh. Can't go through there. Oh! Girl. Oh. Is that Seiko? Seiko! This isn't good. Okay. Now do I grab that board? Mm, no. <laughs> uh, how about going... Can't go that way. Can't go that way either. Yeah. Huh. Can she not hear me? Okay, okay. Can't go this way. Can I? I can't push the chairs. Am I blocked off? Can I go through the door? Yeah, cool. Okay. Just walk, walk, walk. Oh! Oh, that really hurt. My ankles in pretty bad shape. Oh, there's a note. Heavenly Post, third student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Host blank school seem to be disappearing, as now a third student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmates testified that fifth grader blank was on her way home from school, but got separated from her friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned countless investigators to the case in hopes of a speedy resolution. However, 10 days have already passed since the first disappearance, giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. Ooh. Oh, okay. Seiko! 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 Se Okay, thank goodness she's still breathing. Seiko! Ne Seiko! Okite yo! Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up. Are Naomi Dotano? Na Naomi, what's up? Dotano Zanai wa yo! Shinpai sa sete! Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Uh, where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I like to know. No, it ain't budging. These windows are sealed tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads of, or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desk seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school? An elementary school? Can't be, can it? What is it? The printout on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. 
Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly host? Isn't that? The elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where the hell are our friends and Miss Yuri? Oh, calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was, the it was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of it all. I couldn't take it anymore, I had to say something, anything. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? And she thinks, besides... I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the walls. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? Yeah. I'm not sure, but there might be an entrance way or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside? You're right, and it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm gonna go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay then, first step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up after all. It's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around here somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can reunite with them. We'll find a way out of here together. Yeah. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in my desperation, I put on the strongest friend I could manage. Okay, character introductions. Direct the eye toward any character and press the X button to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Alright, can I save? <laughs> Satoshi Machida, 17-year-old student at Mika 
Isaragi Academy senior in high class 2-9, fairly average but popular, known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others to make him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is, in consequently, the only person to whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. Okay. Naomi, 16 year old student, class 2 9, and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high, frequently greets Satoshi with, Oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life is giving her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Oh, smart girl. Um, let's go you. Seiko, 16. Class 2-9, lives very close to Naomi and generally accompanies her in, to and from school each day. Free spirit, she often says or does things that takes others by surprise, although she's also easily forgiven due to her good nature and amiability. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Seiko seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Okay. Yuka, Satoshi's 14-year-old sister. Though she's an 8th grader at Kisaraki Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much, much younger. In the Mojita household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is, which sometimes gets her in trouble. Hmm. A 16-year-old student Kisaragi Kai, class 2-9, he's been in theater club with Mayu since middle school, developed a real closeness with her. He finds socializing with anyone else to be more trouble than it's worth, however, uh, so he typically regards his other classmates with indifference. He takes great pride in his family heritage and reacts violently if anyone makes fun of his name. The only person, the only exception is a nickname Mayu's given to him, Shig. Mayu, 16 years old, clash 2-9, somehow looks much tinier than she actually is, but possesses a big heart and a bright personality. He accepts anyone and everyone with open arms, never playing favorites, which has earned her nearly universal regards amongst her fellow students. Unfortunately, due to familial circumstances, this is Mayu's last day. She'll be moving shortly and transferring to a new school. 17-year-old appointed representative of Kisaragi class, uh, Kisaragi High class 2-9, often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and reveals and hearing them and revels in hearing them scream. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown which rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. When, faded, no, when faced with any truly scary situation, her knees give out and in panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. Okay, Yoshiki, 17-year-old student, Class 2 9, often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, he's fondness for Dash Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Okay. And Miss Yui Shishido, 23 year old, damn! You young, girl. Uh, 11th grade English teacher Kisaragi High just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression. Although not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious, and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Uh, also serves as a teacher's assistant during homeroom for class 2-9 and really seems to have connected with the students there. Okay. Okay. And character introductions are turning game? Yes. Yeah, go, Naomi. Come on, Naomi, let's go. Okay. 
Right. Okay, classroom 1-A. Uh... Hey, Naomi. Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out, I forgot all about it. I think I sprained my ankle when I fell. Well, that's not good, will you be okay? I can walk at least, I'm sure I'll heal on some. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. Another earthquake? No. Is it over? I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. Wait, what's wrong? Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know, it seems kind of beat up, but it gets pretty solid. Let's try it. The loose board has been set in place. Alright. And we leave. Okay, this candle, I could have swear I've seen it before. Oh, finally! 